Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because it What's going on guys and welcome back. Child's Play 2019 is a reboot of the original 1988 version. It was directed by Lars Cliff Burton and stars Aubrey Plaza, Mark Hamill, and Gabriel Bateman. And it tells the story of a boy named Andy who is given a toy doll by his mother for his birthday, unaware of its more sinister nature. I loved the Chucky movies. Being a slasher fan, of course I was going to pay attention to those. Who wouldn't? If you're a slasher fan, come on. When I first heard what they were doing with it, what they were going to do with Chucky, I was a little nervous. But fear not, the Ripster, he loved it. They made Chucky a full-fledged robot, which to any nostalgic child's play of the original films would sound stupid. It did to me at first, but I like actually trying out shit before I actually go judging it. So and that's what I did, and I'm glad I did. And that's why I say to everybody, don't judge a book by its cover. Me meaning, just go see it for yourself. You might surprise yourself. This was actually a really good movie. They made some pretty ballsy moves. In the rules of a reboot, you have to do that. You've got to take risks. You've got to make those leaps. And you've got to you know, do something to add originality to what was already created. Even though it might piss some people off, still, it's got to be done. And I, what they did with Child's Play 2019, I thought it was a perfect inter interpretation for a reboot. Starting off with the positives, they went back to its dark roots. Even the 1988 film, well, mostly the first three films, was had that dark quality of it. Kind of like how Michael Myers lurks around the corner and you don't know what this entity is. That's how Chucky was in this. I really like the fact that they brought that back. Not that I'm complaining about how campy Brad Dorf's Chucky got and Bride of Chucky and on up. I love when they go back to its roots and they do something new. They did it perfectly with this. So like I said, it had elements of the first three before Chucky became all campy and... <laughs> I have that sinister laugh and all. Which I do miss, by the way. The kills. My God. The kills was awesome in this. If you are a fan of blood and gore, of course, this being a slasher, duh. You will love this film. The kills was done just perfect. There's certain scenes where I can't mention because it would be a spoiler, but they're so grotesque that I sort of had to... Turn my head a little bit, but it's going to take a lot for me to turn my head at anything. But the kills is done nicely. The look and feel of this film, the cinematography and the lighting, it just all around dark. And that's what you want in a child's play film. And again, not that I'm complaining about how campy Chucky got after three. Still, it, it lost a lot of that because of it. It lost a lot of the darkness and the fear and the mystery about it because of the campiness. The jump scares was done perfectly, though not all of them landed. Of course, you're not going to make a slasher, a horror film, or whatever with every jump scare working. That's just not going to happen because we're all different. But um, for the most part, I did jump out of my seat a little. <laughs> Let's get to another heart of the matter of this film. The score by Bear McCreary. He's done such things as Walking Dead, and here recently the new Godzilla King of the Monsters, which was really odd and very interesting because he's went from doing action-packed films to TV to slashers. And the way he did this score had that creepy toy music in the back. The Chucky franchise, even in the old ones, has never had its own brand of score. With the Friday the 13th films, you had that ch 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 in the Halloween films, you had that even the Hellraiser a little bit had that certain score with it. You never really got that with any of the Child's Play films, but the way Barry McCrary did the score for this, I'm down for that score for future possible movies if they make any more. God help me, I hope they do. That score it creeped me out in a certain way, 
And it takes a lot to get the refs to creep out. Believe me. But I loved it. And I, I'm telling you, it, it was definitely worth it. They hired the right guy. Barry McCray, good job. Good job, buddy. It's great to like quality to some of the instruments he used. All right, the character's Andy, who's this time played by Gabriel Bateman. I like this portrayal a little better than the original because he was older. He had more of a head on his shoulders. He, he wasn't as whiny. I get that he was six years old in the original, yes, but this portrayal of Andy is more plausible to the more modern take of the character. And I thought he did a really good job acting this part out. It showed he had more of a sense of things that's starting to happen that's not really good, especially with Chucky. And also the chemistry between Chucky and, the, and Andy. It was so much better than the original film. The original film, you just had manipulation between them two. In this one, they actually develop a friendship before Chucky goes all bat crap crazy. And I like that aspect of it. And you really feel the pain and the sorrow for this kid when you find out that Chucky turns into this serial killer. He don't know why his best friend is like this. He takes action. He knows when to call it quits. So he, he's got that smarts about him. And of course, Andy and the mother's relationship, I like that. It was, it was more straight and more focused than the original. The mom, who's played by Aubrey Plaza, she was real rough around the edges, very protective, like most mothers are. Again, goes back to the more moderate times of how mothers are nowadays, and for good reason too. And I like that aspect of her character. All right, this is the first time I'm doing this in a review. And I'm adding a mixed section, and here's why. The mixed section involves Chucky. Now, even though I already told y'all that I really did love this film, there's still going to be quirks in it, and I'll explain. Chucky's look, it just didn't really resonate with me as much as the originals. Now, there goes that nostalgia coming out of me. Though he was sinister in Child's Play 2019, he just didn't really send that creepy vibe. Now, there was scenes where it was showing him lurk around the corner in the darkness and the camera would pan. You hear that creepy toy light music in the back and you see Chucky in the corner. And I thought that was really cool. If I seen that in my room, even me being who I am, I would probably be scared shitless. <laughs> There's great animatronics, and there was even some cool CGI effects. Not much, but some CGI effects. Chucky had that childlike innocence about him because he was a full-fledged robot. I just would have fleshed him out a little more. Gave him room for more improvement, which I hope there will be if they do make more of these. He wasn't bad. He wasn't good either. I, I don't hate it. It didn't really make me cringeworthy or it didn't take me out of the film and distract me for the rest of the film. In the scenes in the daylight where Chucky and Andy would be walking on the streets or in his room during the daytime and there was certain scenes where Andy was trying to teach him facial reactions, it looked kind of dumb. It, it looked a, a little cheesy. I mean, it did kind of make me chuckle a little bit, but in an, in an annoying way. It's just not the type of Chucky I wanted. Like I said, though he was sinister and he he did the kills really well and he, he did freak me out in some capacity, but there was other scenes in there where it was just creepy enough to be awkward. Mark Hamill is the voice of Chucky in this. And I gotta say, he wasn't bad. He was decent. He wasn't no Brad Dorff. There goes that nostalgic again. But he was no Brad Dorff. But he did a fairly decent job for the type of reboot this was. And another thing I forgot to mention, in the originals, he's called a good guy doll. In this, they call him a buddy. Since this is a modern daytime film, they throw the internet in there and it works with an app on your phone. It's just called the buddy system, or buddy, shortly. All right, now let's get into the negatives. This was a little bit of a letdown and it really frustrated me all to hell, but Andy's friends. I didn't really resonate with them. Sure, I'm all up for Chucky having more foes against him, you know, to help Andy out and stuff. That's fine. But I just felt like they could have rewritten those characters or, you know, just done a better job with those characters. One seemed like he couldn't even act. They didn't really 
feel like they were there. Like the actors was there. And some of the humor in it that some of the friends made, particularly one character, he, he would use humor in the most dumbest times of this film. And I was like, shut up, dude. You know, Chucky, just go ahead and kill him. <laughs> Please. I felt like the movie probably could have done better either without them or replaced them with other actors. And my last negative, the detective, played by Brian Tyree Henry. I didn't really resonate with him as much. I actually liked the detective from the original better. Chris Sarandon brought more of a serious role to that part in the original 1988 film. And... I liked that better than what Tyree did in this. I didn't really buy him that much as a detective. Because the way the character was played out throughout the movie, it would show scenes where he was walking through crime scenes and all, but I didn't really buy him as a detective, plain and simple. A couple things before I get into my final thoughts. One thing you've got to realize while walking into this movie is that it's a completely different film from the original. There's no tie-in, it is a reboot, that's it. One thing that's going to ill a lot of people, especially for the nostalgists out there, is that they made a lot of choices in this film that's completely different from the originals. But they did something original and they did it pretty ballsy and it was, to me, fantastic. And this film actually went against the original creator Don Mancini's wishes. All the cast members from the original actually signed petitions. A fat lot of good that did. But this film actually went against Don Mancini, the original creator for the original movie's wishes. But luckily for him and for us, those are actually going to continue in a TV show. And I can only hope that the TV show is just as good as the original movies. But as far as Child's Play 2019, definitely worth it. If you're a fan of the slasher element and doesn't give a crap about anything else, this is definitely the movie for you. And for my final thoughts, I thought it was awesome. They did a terrific job. Yet ballsy, but it was worth it. It was awesome. It was a really great take on what Chucky should be for a reboot. I'm giving Child's Play 2019 an A. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share, hit that like button too because that helps this channel. That helps my videos. What did you think of Child's Play 2019? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed? Leave me your thoughts down below and let me know. What are your thoughts? Stay tuned for more reviews and videos coming soon to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. Peace the rep out.